you ever feel like nothing you do matters? You leave footprints on the beach and tomorrow they're gone. Like it's just today over again. They say your teen years are for making friends and having fun. Which made me feel even worse. Hey, Amy. It's Jake. I'm in your math class. Hey, don't forget your adult diapers. Yeah, right. <laughs> Jake, it's phone for you. But that day, everything changed. Thanks for the ride, Shelly. So how come you have to go deal with your grandpa? My dad couldn't get out of work. I didn't think he worked. You know, I'm... I'm just gonna call Grandpa. Hello, this is Abe. Hey, it's Jake. No, don't come here. Listen to me. It's not safe. Stay away. Grandpa, did you take your pills today? The key to my gun cabinet, it was in the drawer, and now it's gone. Yeah, Dad took it, all right, for, for safekeeping. It's OK. Your father wants I should fight them without a gun? God bless him. What's his deal? Alzheimer's? Dementia. Gave me the heebie jeebies. Holler if you need me. Grandpa? Someone broke in. I've got a 38 in my car. You wait there. Grandpa! 911, what's the emergency? 911? Yeah, I need, I need the paramedics. It's a 2040 Palm Circle. My grandpa. Sir, what's the emergency? Grandpa. You have to get away from here. Sir, can you hear me? I, please, listen. Go to the island. Sir, paramedics are on their way. Find Emerson. The postcard. Go to the loop. September 3rd, 1943. It's okay. Just, just don't move. There's an ambulance coming. I know you think I'm crazy. But the bird will explain everything. Will you do this to Grisco? Promise me? I promised, yes. I thought I could protect you. I should have told you years ago. Mm -hmm. 
Grandpa told me. Told me what? Grandpa! was no one there. May I say, Jake, that considering this was only a month ago, I think you're doing exceptionally well. Uh, apart from being crazy? Having nightmares and anxiety doesn't make you crazy. And what about seeing things which aren't there? Actually, in traumatic situations, it's not at all uncommon. Your subconscious mind drew an image from a movie or... It, it, was, it was a story. Grandpa told me stories when I was a kid about monsters that he fought in the war. So there you go. He was brutally attacked. And in your head, the man who did it was inhuman, a monster. It, it wasn't a man, though. The cops said that dogs scratched up the screen door and he chased them off into the woods. And the coroner said he had a heart attack. And the cops said, the dogs go for the soft parts. But they DNA tested the fork and it had animal DNA. So that's case closed. He sounds like an extraordinary gentleman. Were you very close? Puerto Rico, here. There's a lake where the water glows in the dark and the secret tunnel. That's where I hid from the monsters. He used to babysit me a lot. When I was with him, I felt special. My duck was dry again. Abe, it's like 11 o'clock. What is he doing up? I'm going to be an explorer. Grandpa's helping me plan my first voyage. Everything's already been discovered, buddy. Tell me a story. The usual? Mm -hmm. Okay. Once upon a time, there was a little boy. With the pictures. Pictures. Once upon a time, there was a little boy called Abe. That was you. That was me. And he lived in a lovely children's home on a little island near Wales, where the sun shone every day. The headmistress, Miss Peregrine, was very clever, and she smoked a pipe. She could turn into a bird. Mm -hmm. It was a home for special children, like Bronwyn and Victor. They were both as strong as 10 men, and Hugh, Hugh had bees living inside him. Where's Emma? She could float. She was lighter than air. She had to wear special shoes made of lead to keep her from floating away. Where is she now? She's still on the island, I believe. My mama and papa sent me there to live with the special children. And now to Grisco time to sleep. He used to call me Tigrisco. It's Polish for Little Tiger. He couldn't have picked a less appropriate nickname. I was always a chicken. Why did your mom and dad send you away? Well, where we lived in Poland, it wasn't safe. There were monsters. What kind of monsters? Huge ones with long arms and no eyes and tentacles like this. The dumb thing was, for years, I actually believed his stories. 
And uh, th this is Millard. He's invisible. <laughs> My teacher says there are trick photos. And did you believe her? Dad said you probably found him at a junk store someplace when you went traveling. I would never lie to you, DeGrisco. But you did. About the home, the monsters. Dad told me. Your father knows very well I went to live in the children's home. He said there really were monsters in Poland. Just not the kind with tentacles. He said you got sent to Wales because they were bad people. People who wanted to kill anyone who was different. I don't want to talk about this anymore. He said the children were special. But not the way you said. Find something good? Oh, look at that. That's awesome. You should take that. Come on, buddy, let's roll. How are you so okay? Jakey, you were a lot closer to him than I ever was. I mean, he was a wonderful grandpa, but not, not such a great dad, you know? <sighs> Never seemed to pick a job that didn't involve late nights or long trips away, though. Me and Aunt Susie always kind of thought he was maybe cheating on our mom. Yeah, I'm sorry, buddy. I know how much you worshipped him, but there it is. Surprise! Happy birthday, cousin Jake! Jay Dog, it's great you're coming to spend a summer with us. Wait till you see the new boat. Can't wait. this one. It's from your grandpa. Found it while I was packing up. I figured he meant to give it to you someday. Thanks. to Jake and the worlds he has yet to discover. My dearest Abe, I hope this card finds you well. The children and I yearn to hear your news. I do hope you will visit us again soon. We should so love to see you. With admiration, Alma Peregrine. Hmm. Only two years ago. I suppose it's possible she could still be alive. Right. And I could meet her. Maybe even find out what it was Grandpa wanted me to know. But what if she's dead? Dr. Golan, we are very concerned with Jake's state of mind right now. And there's no way I'm putting my life on hold to take you to Wales. Dad could take me. And he can, he can look at birds and work in his book. It means you get a break. As Dr. Golan said, maybe I can move on, like closure. Having an opportunity to see this children's home and separate fantasy from reality may be helpful. And at the very least, a trip like this provides a chance to say goodbye. <laughs> Cairnholm, population of 92. 
best known for its proximity to the final resting place of the cruise liner Augusta, which sank in 1915. There is just one hotel. Oh, that's us. I hope there's bourbon. Oh, wow. Jake, check it out. That's a peregrine falcon. A peregrine like the head of mistress? Sure. Hey, that's probably where Grandpa came up with that whole turning into a bird thing. Maybe, maybe that's really her. Hey, Miss Peregrine, it's me, Jake. I'm Abe Portman's grandson. Please don't crap on us. Oh my God, Dad, I'm kidding. Oh, hey, any idea where I'd find the manager of this place? That's me. Sorry to keep you, just helping Uncle Augie to the loo. Oh, oh. I'm Kev. There's room upstairs. Oh, great. I'll be back in a bit. Ooh. Kev's just getting our suite ready. Um, while we're waiting, I thought maybe we could go check out the beach. I thought we'd go to the children's home. Is the beach where the birds nest? I thought we could just check it out real quick. Well, I could go to the home by myself, and you can really take your time and enjoy it. Come on, Jakey, you know your mom would freak. Well, what if we can find someone to take me? Come on, hey. <laughs> hey, dudes. Dad, shh, shh, I got this. I was just wondering if any of you guys might be interested in taking my son here to the other side of the island. So, what are your names? I'm Worm. This is MC Dirty D. MC Dirty Business. I thought you changed it. No. No, you did, remember? When Ruth said MC Dirty Business made it sound like you cack your trousers. Yeah, but she said Dirty D sounded like a personal hygiene problem. Wait, are these, like, nicknames or...? Stage names. We're the sickest rappers in Wales. Go on, Worm. Show this yank how it's done. What now? I like to get wrecked down the pre stall Your dad's always there cos he's on the door. Our rhymes are tight, yet I make it look easy. Our beats are hot like chickens are freezy. Oh, yeah, no, it's it's good. Should we, uh, take the shortcut, D? We'll get there quicker. Take it from me. All right, down here? Mm-hmm, yeah. What? <laughs> is this is this even the way to the children's home? Right through those trees. The children's home, what, what happened to it? A German air raid, bomb fell right on the roof. September the 3rd, 1943. Where, where did they go after? The headmistress and the children. Not one survivor. Poor little buggers. And they were lovely too. Why didn't he tell us that they all died? 
He leaves to join the army and three months later everyone he knows gets killed? Not even Grandpa can turn that into a bedtime story. Well, no wonder he was scared of being a dad, being close to anyone. Listen, you need to talk about all this with someone, buddy. We should call Dr. Golan. Senator Summon joined me today. Uh, do you mind if I go hang out with those other kids today? They asked. Yeah, that's awesome. You're Emma, and uh, the twins, and Olive, uh, Bronwyn, and he's Miller. Mm-hmm. No, you're dead. All of you, you're all dead. I mean, he's, in, he's invisible, but he's, he's still dead. None of us are dead. <laughs> Am I dead? No. You, you call me Abe in the house, why? You look like him, just for a moment, before you started screaming, running away, and concussing yourself. Wait, what's happening? We're waiting until the coast is clear before we go into the loop. You never know who might be watching. Wait, before we, before we go into what? Please, Jake. Miss Peregrine's waiting. She saw you on the ferry. She sent us to get you. Where do you think you're going? To my room. I'm a, I'm a guest here. 
Does this look like a hotel to you? Uh, yeah. No, I've, uh, I, I've got a key. Talk to the manager. He'll, he'll tell you. I'm the manager, boy. He's American. Maybe he's on me. Bollocks. Listen to his accent. It's terrible. He's a spy. <laughs> what? No, I'm, I'm not. I'm a tourist. I say we should get the truth out of him the old-fashioned way. <laughs> You're real. <laughs> You're all real. We have been trying to tell you. But I'm special too. What? In the pub. All of you saw, right? Everything was flying and breaking. And that was me. I was doing it with my mind. No, that was me. Miller? Yeah. Are you naked? Yeah. Oh. I don't. A bomb dropped on you in 1943. It is 1943. September the 3rd, 1943. All day, every day. It's our loop. Right on time. Miss Peregrine, delighted to meet you. I do hope I'm not going to have the pub landlord knocking on my door with the police again. I've had to kill them twice this month. It's been terribly inconvenient. Millard broke a few things, that's all. And Olive may have started a tiny fire. But they were going to hurt Jake. Look at you. The last time dear Abe sent me a photograph, you were just a tiny tot. Don't just stand there. Come in. Your tea's getting cold. How did you know about the pub? You weigh approximately 109 pounds, correct? I don't... Bronwyn and the twins returned six minutes after you ran away. I think I'm missing something. And quite apart from the fact that the perceived safety of the pub makes it the most likely place to which you would flee, it would take you 18 minutes to run there. Emma and Millard would have been moments behind on the horse and trap traveling at 8.2 miles per hour. Factoring in some sort of kerfuffle and the pub and the return journey with your added weight, you would arrive here at 13 minutes past four. Now then, do you take sugar? <laughs> That'll do, thank you, Olive. Nobody enjoys over boiled tea. Let me help you with those, Enoch. Don't bother. Wouldn't want to interrupt your tea party. I'm so sorry for your loss, Jake. You know, then? I know if Abe were alive, he would have told me you were coming. Shall we take our tea outside? Thank you. Before he died, he told me to find you. There was something he wanted me to know. He said you could explain everything. That's absolutely true. There are very few things I can't explain. We're what's known in common parlance as peculiar. 51 seconds late, Fiona. Sorry, Miss Peregrine. How many carrots do you need for supper? Just one will do. As a 
I was saying, some people are peculiar. It's a recessive gene carried down through families. Yet many generations can pass without a peculiar child being born. And alas, peculiars have been persecuted through the ages. Hence, we live in places like this. In Wales? Anywhere will do if you pick the right day. That's fine now, Fiona. You see, I'm a type of peculiar called an imbrine. That means I can... You, yeah, you turn into a bird. Well, I do, yes. But that's not very useful. An imbrine's main skill is the manipulation of time. We choose a safe place, a safe day, and create a loop. What do you mean? Well, a loop preserves the last 24 hours. Reset the loop, and the day is yours to live in again. Reset it daily, and you can stay there forever. Entirely safe from the outside world. Right on time, Bronwyn. Good girl. And that's why we Imbrines are charged with the care of the young. And no one ever gets older. It's best for everyone this way. I assure you. Every Imbrine commits herself to the creation and upkeep of a place like this. A home for peculiar children. You met the twins? Soccer without scobbling, and I do wish you wouldn't play at all. Do you know what a referee is? Good afternoon. I'm Horace. Delighted to meet you. Ow! Careful! We sorely need some new blood here. A super shirt, by the way. Thanks. You know Emma, of course. And I think that's everyone. Didn't Bronwyn have a brother? Yes, Victor's upstairs. Wait, where did Enoch and Olive go? Heaven knows. Enoch's been off talking ever since we went out to get Jake. Miss Peregrine, there's a policeman at the door. He says it's about the pub. We'll discuss this later, Emma. It wasn't their fault. Honestly, they were just trying to help. Thanks. You're not as wet as I thought. She's not really gonna kill anyone, is she? Not if she can talk her way out of it. Would you help me with something? He not usually does it, but like I said, he's off sulking somewhere. Is that because of me? He's possessive. So, what, what did you need help with? One of my daily chores. Put the baby squirrel back in the tree. What baby squirrel? That happens every day? Like clockwork. Now, would you mind tying that rope around my waist? Uh, yeah. Promise to hold on tight.
that, huh? <laughs> Abe did too, the first time. This used to be his job. Emma, I need to tell you something. He's dead. I know. Miss Peregrine Gaston, she's always right. It's okay. I said goodbye to him a long time ago. Were you close? I thought we were. For a while. But I suppose not. Can I ask, was... Was he like you? He was like you, Jake. I need to go and change for supper. Will you be dining with us? I can't stay out late. Supper's at 5.30. Uh, well, that is pretty early. <laughs> the fact we're not all eight years old seems to have eluded Miss Peregrine. <laughs> you can borrow some of Abe's clothes. His room's in the attic. Well, you must feel pretty out of place. Don't worry. I'm, I'm used to it. Oh, no, I wasn't worried. Some advice for you, though, man to man. If you're thinking of staying just because you like Emma, don't bother. You see, she swore off romance decades ago when she got her heart broken. And she's never going to change her mind, so. Enoch, I wasn't here. What are you doing? This isn't even the fun part. Do you want to see the fun part? It's even more fun with people. You should have seen some of the epic battles I used to have at my parents' funeral parlor. You need a necktie. <clears throat> so what did my grandpa do when he was traveling? Visited other loops. Really? To do what? Jake. There's some questions that I can't answer, all right? So it'll be a lot easier for me if you just stopped asking them. Hey, what are you doing? Millard. Go and put some clothes on. Polite persons do not take this up in the nude. <laughs> All right. All right. You can sit here, Jake. Look at Enoch. He's jealous. Why would I be jealous? Olive can go marry Jake for all I care. Don't be mean, Enoch. She doesn't want to. She's just excited to have a visitor. Nobody is marrying anybody. Now eat up your food before it gets cold. Next. You. Stop doing this, you. Must be 
very strange for you, Jake. Me to your grandfather's friends. Visiting another century. Are there spaceships in your time, Jake? Like the Flash Gordon books? Now, now, Olive. What did I say about asking questions? We don't discuss the future here. We enjoy living in the good old here and now. Claire, why aren't you eating? She's embarrassed in front of Jake. Don't be. Please. So, Jake, what's your peculiarity? Oh, um, I'm, I'm not peculiar. And that, my friends, is why he will not be staying with us, no matter how hard we try to persuade him. We've spoken about this. Jake is just visiting. He might want to stay. Don't you want to stay, Jake? Tonight, or...? Forever! You should stay forever! Why would he if he doesn't have to? He can live out there, grow older, have a good time instead. He'll leave just like his grandfather did. Emma! Excuse me. Where's she going? That wasn't nice, Enoch. You know perfectly well why Abe left us. To join the army. And then he met a lady and had a nice wedding cake and a lovely little baby. Children, I know you'd all like a new friend, but I'm sure Jake has plenty of his own back in Florida. I think you should all get ready for movie time while I answer that. But you always let us stay for it. Hello, this is Abe. Yours is extra marshmallows, Jake. Millard, put some pyjamas on. It's too hot in here. Stop moaning. Excuse me. My, my grandpa told me about this. Horace projects his dreams, right? He used to listen to the radio. It gets tedious when you know every word off by heart. Splendid. I'm taken. He dreams about clothes, mostly. Delighted to meet you. A super shirt, by the way. When did he dream this? Last night. Some of his dreams are prophetic, but mostly they're about clothes. Prophetic as in he can see into the future. Do you know her? Don't be silly. Horace must have just had a bad dream, that's all. Quite enough of that, thank you, Horace. I should probably get going. You could stay the night, if you wanted to, rather than walk home alone in the dark. But the island is very safe, isn't it? Of course. I only meant the path is dreadfully bumpy. Jake could trip. Perhaps you could show him the shortcuts, should he ever need to avoid bumps. When you leave stay to see the reset, Jake, it's really quite spectacular.
Rabbit, run, rabbit, run, run, run. Don't give the farmer his fun, fun, fun. He can fun without his rabbit fun. So run, rabbit, run, rabbit, run, run, run. my phone. It's, it's been dead the whole time in the loop, I guess, now. Your phone? Yeah, you know, like a, a telephone. You can call people, uh, send written messages. Wait, you'll love this. It, you can take a picture. Press that there, yeah. <laughs> See? What's wrong? It's just funny to think that one day you'll grow up, like Abe did. Get married, have children, grandchildren. You might even show them this photograph. And I'll still be here. Well, couldn't you leave someday? And live in the present, if you wanted to? No. More than a few minutes in your time, and the years would catch up. Well, you would age. Well, you, you would... I think it's the Imbrian from Horace's dream. Are you sure it's not just a bird? I mean, I don't know. Wouldn't it change? She can't. Not if she's hurt. I need to take her inside. You should go. Please don't say anything else. I hate goodbyes. I'll come back tomorrow. It's no hurry. I'll be here forever. Hey! Hey! I've been all over this damn island. Where the hell were you? Um, I was just on my way back. Sorry, I lost track of time. I was having a blast with Worm and, and Dirty D. Dirty D? No, you know what? This is, this is good. This is healthy. This is, you're making weird friends and doing teenage stuff. I think this is normal. I'm sure Dr. Golem will approve. Hey, you, American. Get over here. Oh, look, there they are. There's uh, D-Bag and Worm Man. Did you do this? Whoa. What? No, of course not. It wasn't us? Listen, sir, I, I don't know what happened here, but my son and his friends have been together all day, and, and Jake would never do anything like this. Bollocks, we haven't seen him. You paid us yesterday. Why would we hang out with him today for free? 
Jake? Were you with him or not? I don't know. I'm sorry. But you don't seriously think I could do this? I think we're done here, sir. Well, can you pass on a message for me? Can you tell Dr. Golan that if she hadn't encouraged this cockamamie trip, maybe my son wouldn't be moping around all day in a derelict house having a goddamn breakdown? Hello? Dad, I'm not. I'm fine. No, you're not. You're not fine, Jake. Coming here was a terrible, terrible idea. Look, I'm sorry I lied. I just wanted just to... Just set your alarm for 8 a.m. I want to get to the beach early. The rest of the time we're stuck on this crap old island, we're sticking together. Where are you going? Downstairs for a drink. Dear Miss Peregrine, I don't wish to alarm you, but one of my informants sent me this. It would appear that some of Mr. Barron's group are in Blackpool, England. If I recall, Miss Avocet has a loop there. Please warn her and suggest that she make a new one right away, well hidden, and take the greatest care yourself. With love, Abe. January 2016. Who's ready to hit the beach? Oh. oh my. Unbelievable. I mean, right in the middle of the nesting area? What kind of idiot does that? Actually, the main nesting area is over there. I can show you if you'd like. It's marvelous to meet a fellow bird spotter, John Lamont. Uh, Franklin Portman, this is my son, Jake. John Lamont. That's a hell of a camera you got there. Oh, thanks. It's absolutely fantastic. I'm here to do some snaps for a book I'm writing. So, you gentlemen here on holiday? Unfortunately, her wings were flapping as much as the birds. <laughs> I think you folks are thinking of another climb. So you're not going to the beach today? What's the point? If that guy's going to cover Karen home in some big, glossy book, no one's going to even want to look at mine. I might just have a nice afternoon nap. I don't suppose you saw Uncle Augie on your travels this morning, did you? He's usually here by now. I could go look for him. You're not going anywhere. I need to see Miss Peregrine first. Do you know where she is? From the dark days, the Canadian army, growing stronger year by year. Jake, you're back. How wonderful. How's it doing? Emma said it was an embryo. She, not it. Embryos are always female. And Emma was quite correct. This is Miss Everset. Her loop's in Blackpool, England. 
was a private letter, Jake. Who is Mr. Barron? Miss Peregrine, if my grandpa was involved with dangerous people, I need to tell the police. Police? Are you implying Abe died an unnatural death? I found him in the woods with his eyes missing. I'd say that was pretty unnatural. I'm less essential. I don't discuss unpleasant matters. An Imbring's duty is to protect children, Jake. I'm not a child. He wanted you to tell me everything. Oh, how frustrating for you. Between Miss Peregrine's rules and my housemate's little pack not to scare you off, it's like no one's telling you anything. Well, why don't you, then? It's not like you want me here. Enoch, you can't. You promised. All is right. I do know someone who can get away with breaking rules, though. Want to meet him? Enoch, don't do this. Please. You want to spend time with me and Jake. We can all play together. That's what you said. Well, here we all are. Move, Olive. If you're going to be like that, then I don't want to be your friend. Enoch, leave Victor alone. It really upsets Bronwyn. Oh, stop fussing, Fiona. Don't you think Jake should meet everybody? He's trying to frighten you away, Jake. He was always jealous of Abe. Now he's jealous of you. Come and play with us instead. I... I'd quite like to meet Victor. After you. Uh, hello, Victor. I'm I'm Jake. I'm sorry to disturb. Yeah, he can't hear you. Who killed Victor? Was it the people with the white eyes? I asked you not to ask questions. I saw one the night my grandpa died. A man. If it really was one, you have to tell Miss Peregrine. Could you recognize him from a photograph? Do you have one? Oh, come on, there's somewhere I go to be alone. I have things there.
my secret hideout. How, how did you... Air. It's my peculiarity. It tells what I want. Before your grandfather retired, he asked me to keep this safe. This is my grandpa's old map. It shows you where the loops are. That's, that's him. That's the man I, I saw. Who is he? Oh, that's Baron. He's the leader. The leader of what? Who are these people? Bad people. Bad peculiars. Abe dedicated his life to hunting them down. These are the ones he never found. What do you mean, hunting? They raided loops. Whole homes full of children left for dead. Abe took lives to save lives. He only retired when you were born to protect you. From what? If I tell you the rest, you have to promise not to run away. Jake, you belong here. You know I don't. I'm not like you. I'm just ordinary. No, you're not. Jake, only a peculiar can enter a time loop. No, that, that can't be right. I mean, I would know. Fine. Then I'll show you something else. Hurry, you'll miss it. Imprints usually pick the perfect day to create a loop, but Miss Peregrine had to make this one in a rush. Why? Because the Germans are about to drop a bomb on the house. The point is, September the 3rd, 1943 wasn't perfect. The thing that killed Victor came back. see it, can't you? No one else can. It's invisible, Jake. That was Abe's greatest gift of all. He could see the monsters. We call them Hologast. Hollows for short. My grandpa told me about people who turn into monsters. Is that what they are? I will explain everything, Jake. I fear it's my duty now, considering. But you should know that in doing so, I'm breaking a solemn promise. I knew you were peculiar when you were born, but your grandfather forbid me to tell you anything. His dearest wish was for you to have an ordinary childhood. Oh, I definitely had that. He intended to tell you the truth when you turned 18. He hoped his bedtime stories would pave the way. 
Huh? Here's my book. Many years ago, a splinter faction emerged among our people. Disaffected peculiars, tired of living in loops. That's... that's Mr. Baron. He believed that by harnessing the essence of an Imbrine's powers, he and his cronies could gain immortality and be able to live outside loops. He devised an experiment. He kidnapped an Imbrine not knowing or caring whether she would survive the experiment. But the fate of Baron and his group was more horrifying still. Regain humanity. They had become not immortal gods, but hollows. Invisible beasts. Dangerous. Cold blooded. Deadly. Remember, I told you they raided loops. This is why. Baron discovered that by consuming the eyes of other peculiars, especially children. Began to change. Consume enough, and a hollow can fully regain its human form. Bon appetit. Just as Baron and some of his friends did. The rest of them are stuck as hollows. Are you saying that Baron ate my kind? He needs no more eyes himself, but I fear he led a hollow to your grandfather. Yes. After the first attacks on loops, we all got better at hiding, making new loops, keeping our whereabouts secret. The hollows grew more desperate every year, and Baron wishes to help his friends. Miss Peregrine, come quickly. Miss Avis, it's awake. Oh, Miss Peregrine, they found my new loop. The children. I tried to save them, but there were so many hollows. I don't know how I escaped. Oh, you're safe now. None of us are safe. They set up the machine in my loop. They put it in the cellars at Blackwood Tower. They're still there. The machine. The experiment. They intend to do it again. This time he's using more embryons. He still wants to be immortal. Do hollows only attack peculiars? Of course not. They're monsters, Jake. They'll slaughter anything in their path. Well, some sheep on the island were killed. You don't think they're here already, do you? Have you seen anyone with white eyes? I'm sorry, children. We can't remain here. What? We'll leave on the first ferry off the island tomorrow. Pack anything of importance. Then it's sandwiches and early to bed. We're leaving for good. 
When are you coming back? Never. If Miss Peregrine's not here to reset the loop tomorrow night, the house gets bombed. But our house? Don't cry. Miss Peregrine will find you another lovely house. Somewhere else. Once this loop closes, that's it. I can't get back to my own time. But you didn't seem very happy there. I can't just leave. I have a family. And you felt ordinary. Like, nothing you do changes anything. And now you have a chance to do something that changes everything. Jake, we're in danger. And you're the only one who can see the hollows. Yeah, I see them, sure, but I'm not my grandpa. I'm not, and I, I can't fight. I can't kill somebody. Look, there's only one reason that I'd stay here. Please. Just go. Jakey. There you are. Thank God. When I heard they found a body, I freaked. dogs around here? What are you talking about? It's like when they find an injured animal and they go for the soft parts first. Same thing happened to my father. The police are on their way. Dad, I've got to go. I'll what? be... No, you don't, Jake. If this wasn't an accident, there's a lunatic on the island. I've known everyone on this island my whole life, except you and him. And he's been in the pub all afternoon. So have I. I was sleeping. What about the blind fellow? I mean, I assumed he was blind. Gentleman with the dark glasses. Arrived on the same ferry as me. I kept seeing him around. Jake! 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 Wait! Wait! Oh. 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 Is your son No. He has a... Uh... Mental health issues. I can't go. Let me. I run 5Ks all the time. You came through th th You're peculiar? Oh, yes. And I'm extremely grateful to you. Terribly hard to find loops these days. So you followed me fr from the beach on purpose? Oh, no. I've been following you much further than that. Dr. Goldman? Sometimes, when it suits me. The breadth of my peculiarity is purely limited by my imagination. The only thing I can't change is my eyes. Mr. Barrett, how do you do? I saw you at your grandfather's. I was hoping to get Miss Peregrine's address from him, but alas, my traveling companion got to him before I did. And as you know, there's just no stopping a hungry halogast. <laughs> Speaking of my traveling companion, he's coming. And believe me, when I say to you, you don't want to be here when he arrives. 
So, let's be on our way. Shall we? I mustn't forget our calendar. Could you fetch it from the parlor, please, Miss Eversett? Go and help the others. Miss Peregrine, what a pleasure to meet you at last. May we come in? Children, would you make your way down the stairs, please? I give the orders in this house, Mr. Baronet. Not today. You should know that Jake has served his purpose. If you value his life, I suggest everyone does as they're told. Children! Shush! No one tells my children what to do. Children, come down here, please. Miss Peregrine, I... I thought I told you to be quiet. Children, for Jake's safety, we're going to do what Mr. Baron asks. He wishes to take me with him to his rendezvous in Blackpool. So for his protection, he'd like me to assume bird form, preferably caged. And he'd like you to make your way into a lockable room such as the parlor. As he won't release Jake if he fears an attack could be mounted upon him once he loses his leverage. Correct, Mr. Baron. You're sacrificing yourself and all of us for Jake. Mr. Baron travels with a hollow Enoch. Once it arrives here, we're all dead. Enoch, only Jake can see them. She means he's our only hope. my privilege to care for you all. Goodbye, my children. Now let him go. One thing, Jake. That you will try to look after them all. I promise. Getting dark. You won't even be able to see their shadows. We have to stay inside. It's the only place we stand a chance. He's quite right. Now, where does Miss Peregrine keep her weapon? In the... Let's go. Now, all right, children. Make sure all the doors are locked and the windows are latched. Everything must be sealed up tight. Now, quickly, quickly go.
Jake, I think tonight you better answer that. Okay. Hello? Hello, this is Abe. Who's that? You... You don't know me here. I, I'm Jake. Ah, you're new. Well, welcome to the family, Jake. Now, I can't talk long, so just tell Miss Peregrine... I'm at the airbase, and I'm fine. Well, I just wanted to say that I miss you. And if I disappointed you, I'm sorry. And you're the best grandpa in the world. Oh. Now, children, now that you're all here, there's a few rules. Your primary job is to stay safe. Leave the hollow to me. I don't want to see any heroics. Now, those of you with garden tools, I must insist that you... <laughs> Reset. Fiona, is there anything you can do with that tree? Yes. Be careful. We're going through the windows. Let's go. Quickly. Thank you. 
What's that? The loop closing. It's gone. Sorry, Jake. What do we do now? Is there any sign of Baron and Miss Peregrine? Gone. Baron must have had a boat. Well, we have to go after them. We know he's taking her to Blackpool. But Blackpool is miles away. The next ferry doesn't go for hours. We'll never make it in time. Not unless we go by boat, too. So, there's a loop here in Blackpool. It's only six months old. January 11th, 2016. With Miss Avocet gone, it can't be reset. Won't the loop close? Then it's back to real time. Jake, you know what this means, don't you? You're gonna die. That's not what I mean. We have to get to our own time, but you don't. You can continue to live in 2016. But why would I do that? If we kill Baron, he'll be gone, but time will carry on. He won't go to Florida. Abe won't die, and you can go home. I can see my grandpa. Listen, I can explain everything to them. I can persuade them to take me to the island and... Wait, will you still be there? Our old loop's gone for good. We wouldn't see each other again. I saw you wanted me to stay. I know you'll choose Abe. If I minded, I wouldn't have told you. So, have you found Miss Alvesic's loop on the map yet? It's here, but it's new. She made it early this year. That's my year. We don't get out before it closes. We're stuck in January 2016. Great. So time catches up with all of us. We all die except you. The plan? The loop closes at 4.30. That means we need to get in, rescue the Imbrians, and then get out. Yeah, if we're not already dead. Miss Alvis has said the machine is in the cellar of the Blackpool Tower building. That means we'll be indoors with hollows. No, we won't. I've got a plan but I'm gonna need your help. Thank you. 
be it, can it? Loop entrances can be anywhere. The one in London's in a subway tunnel. I need you to do first. All right. I know. Look, there's the tower. It's not far. Easy for you to say. I'm freezing. Ready? Cellar locked. The only way to reach the Umbreens is through there. That's backstage. How many hollows can you see? Four. That's good news. I think you and I have a very different definition of good news. Oh, it means Baron's other friends haven't arrived yet. So they haven't started the experiment. We're not too late. Okay, Emma. You ready? You know what to say. Him, Jake. Our brethren should be joining us momentarily. This is a day hey, to... you down there. We killed your hollow friend, Mr. Baron. And now we've come for Miss Peregrine. Bring her and all the other Imbrines to the end of the pier in five minutes, or face the consequences. These children must be as insane as their headmistress. <laughs> Still... The Hollows will be glad of a feed. <laughs> Where are you? I know you're in here somewhere. Ah, good. Listen to me. I want you to follow Mr. Archer and Mr. Clark. They're going to take you down to the pier for a, a little afternoon tea. Mr. Archer and Mr. Clark, gather the Hollows and take them to the pier. Those children killed Malthus? Baron's had it in for Malthus ever since he killed a Portman. I tracked a Portman for months. All I needed was a few minutes to get the location of Miss Peregrine's loop from him. But no, Malthus couldn't wait. And instead, I had to masquerade as a psychiatrist for three weeks in Florida. Have you ever been to Florida? Did I not tell you to gather the hollows? What if it's a trap? Of course it is, Miss Edwards, but what of it? A couple of children against four hollows. Let's get this over with.
understand that yet, Tom? We've got to deal with Baron. Come on. They should have been back by now. I said it was a trap. If that's true, perhaps we should move the embryos now. You're not serious. Do I not look serious? Do I not look like a man who has searched the globe looking for just one more eye to eat in hopes of regaining sufficient humanity to return to his research? A man who spent years hunting embryos in preparation for this night and two, no, three days in Wales pretending to look at birds. I assure you, I will not stand idly by to see my Derailed. You do it now. Not the gift of peculiarity at all? <laughs> I am a higher being. I hold a secret to eternal life. Sorry to interrupt. I'm, what the? Oh, oh. I take it accuracy is not your peculiarity. Oh. <laughs> Abe was a much worthier adversary. Don't let him get to the birds. <laughs> Contact with your tailor. Embrains, embrains, here I come. Cold. Wait till the blood freezes. 
increases in your veins. Hey. That was your attempt to rescue your friend, was it? You are the loop entrance. these years I never appreciated you. I didn't see how lucky I was. I got so used to having you there, I never realised. You never realised what? See, you've inherited your grandfather's peculiarity. You're just as annoying as he was. Speaking of Abe, if you should see him in the afterlife, give him my regards. Please, we can't risk him taking you again. Leading them back to the ghost train. Jake needs us, Baron's too strong. 
You've lost Miss Peregrine. You've lost everything. It's over. Wait, look, that's not me. It's Baron. Don't listen to him. He's no, Baron. I'm Jake. That's Baron. Well, I've got a better shot than Jake, so neither of you move until we sort this. Listen to me. I'm Jake. I grew up in Florida, and I wanted to be an explorer. I thought nothing would ever change because I was ordinary. That's Jake. Get Baron. No, look. I told him all of this. She was my psychiatrist. Look, you deal with him. I'll go find Miss Peregrine. Wait. Look, I can prove that I'm me. Because I'm not ordinary. I can do something no one else can. I can see the monsters. to go. The loop is closing. Yeah. Those of us who are leaving. You love your grandfather. There's nothing more to explain. No, I promised Miss Peregrine I'd look after you all. And with her injured and you without a loop. She'll recover. And until then, we'll be in 1943. We'll only age one day at a time. Like normal people. Which can be no bad thing. And what about the Hollows? As long as they're out there, you're not safe. We don't need you to make us feel safe, Jake. Because you made us feel brave. And that's even better.
ですか And then we said goodbye. And the loop closed. I was so scared that you wouldn't be here. That I'd never see you again. I'm safe. Oh. Let me give you your birthday present. Grandpa, my, my birthday isn't for months. For your travels. Go to her, Jake. You have the map. You can get back to 1943. No, even so, they took a boat. I don't know where they are. But you know where they were. took me to get here. The closest loop was in the California desert. I used it to get to the Tokyo loop. And that led me to the nearest loop back in 1942, where I wound up joining the Navy. Don't ask. Then I spent two months in London trying to...